Hello and welcome everybody to this Azure Synapse Espresso. I'm joined here today by Philip. Hi, in person. Cool. So, um, we're, if this is the first time you're visiting our channel um, and you like your content or you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see something else, just write it in the comments or if you have any, have any questions, we'll definitely get back to you. And if you like the actual content or you like to know more about Azure Synapse Analytics, uh, just subscribe to the channel and um, it's we're, going, we're making loads of these videos, so it's a load of them. Now, today we want to tackle something um, performance-wise, but it's not that straightforward on how to solve it. Let's say you're working with serverless SQL pools and you've got this query that a lot of users are executing. Um, it takes about 20 to 30 seconds each time because it goes over a lot of data. It basically does some aggregations, has some logic in there. So every time you're executing that query, it's slow and overall customer experience is not that well. Now, Philip, is there a way we can solve this? Well, there certainly is. Uh, with the serverless SQL pool, we so, so far showed you only about the read scenarios, how can read data from the data lake and provide the results set to the client. But actually, serverless SQL pool can be used to materialize the result of select statement into the storage, into a new location, and to automatically create the external table for you. External table is a metadata pointer to the storage location. So it's sort of similar to open row set, right? You can use it to select from the external table and it will get the data out of the storage, similar like with the open row set, with the difference that you can use external table as well to write data to the storage. And as usual, the best thing is to move to the DAP. Here we have a query, like Stan said, we have some aggregation of data. So your users are opening the report, it's always aggregating the data, and each time it takes like a, a minute to execute. Obviously, that's a suboptimal user experience. And now let's see what we can do. So in order to create an external table, uh, you will need to create external data source and external file format. Uh, this is probably familiar to anyone working with a polybase so far. Um, and the same thing is like in a serverless, it's exactly the same syntax. Uh, as we said, external table is a metadata pointer to a location in a storage but also it is a pointer to a data source and as well as a file format. Create external table as select is a statement that will actually execute your select statement and materialize the result set into the specified location in the specified data source. There we go. So Philip, if we, if we basically, if we create this table, um, let's say we've created this table and we then want to drop the table, um, what happens? Does he also drop the storage? Well, that's a very good question, Stan. Um, dropping external table is a metadata operation, meaning that it will drop metadata about the external table, but the storage location will stay intact. So you will need to use uh, pipelines or any other service mm -hmm. to actually remove the content from the storage. Okay, cool. If you try to rerun the same CETA statement again, uh, it will fail because the storage location is there, so you definitely need to take care of it. So basically, if we look at this one, it took about 41 seconds to execute, so which is quite fast. Um, now, if we move over to the senior results, so we created that table. So now every time we're going to query that table, it's just going to do that, that prefetch result of that slow query, right? Absolutely. And it should be like instant. You can see here, same result. And now it executes in zero seconds. So we go from one minute to zero seconds, which is a personally, I think, a very, very, very good game. Awesome. So, Philip, thank you very much for coming here in person this time. So, we thank talked about for having me here. Yes, yes. So, uh, we've talked about CETAS and how you can actually optimize those frequently accessed data sets and those pre aggregations. So, which allows you basically to transform your data a little bit, opens up a whole bunch of new scenarios which you could possibly use to um, speed up your workload and get stuff done with serverless SQL pools, even have more queries execute against it because you don't overload the system as such and you basically can get it to go faster in, in, in smaller uh, for, for those data sets. Now, if this was the first time you've visited our video and you like the content, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you like to see something else or you have any questions, just put them in the comments, we'll get back to you. And um, if you like Synapse Analytics and you want to know more about Synapse Analytics, uh, subscribe to the channel. We've got loads of content in, the art in there and we keep making these videos basically to teach you and show you how to use the product in the best way. As always, from the Synapse Espresso team, me and Philip, thank you. Bye.